The Roads to Carbon Neutral, presented by Total Energies. How can we deliver lower carbon energy for all nations to secure a net zero future and a just energy transition globally? Currently, more than 700 million people worldwide do not have access to electricity. Therefore, delivering lower carbon and renewable energy access in developing nations is vital. The climate change is a global challenge. There is no way to be successful if we are just doing that in Europe or in North America in, among the rich countries. Investing as well in the energy of the transition in these emerging countries is part of what we do when we say together with society. Many developing nations are in parts of the world with huge potential yields of renewable energy. In fact, the World Bank places Africa ahead of every other continent when it comes to the potential yield of solar power. A lot of developing markets are getting pressured to phase down coal, but that coal has to be replaced with something else. Obviously, we want it to be replaced with renewables. To achieve this, global financial frameworks will be needed, bringing together industry and governments to support renewable energy investment around the world and to ensure developing nations don't fall behind. We estimate that uh, by investing in uh, renewables, we will be able to reach more than 40 million people in the emerging countries, such as in Africa and in Asia. We think that the model of multi-energy, a broad energy, can be applied and will answer to, in fact, the demand from many countries, emerging countries on this planet. A couple of decades ago, we saw this transition in telecommunications and emerging economies where they leapfrogged the wired infrastructure and went to a mobile infrastructure. Well, why can't we have that same type of thinking in emerging economies adapting quickly to renewable energy and an infrastructure that supports that? Africa makes up nearly a fifth of the world's population, but only produces 4% of the world's CO2, compared to the US and China, which account for 40% of global CO2 emissions. Therefore, consumer behavior in advanced economies is an important part of global decarbonization. Using your wallet to choose certain directions is really important. So make sure you pick sustainable products. Make sure you understand the carbon footprint of things you're going to buy. Reducing consumption will also accelerate the gains made in the renewable space by bringing down our overall energy needs. This is crucial in order to lessen the impact of geopolitical change, as well as increasing energy independence. All consumers, they want to have access to a reliable, affordable and environmental friendly energy. That's what we need to deliver. Energy access for all must be a global pursuit. Responsible energy consumption, combined with global financial and technological innovations, can pave the way for developing nations to become equal partners in our journey to a net zero future. In 2015, the United Nations adopted 17 sustainable development goals Goal 7 aims to ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable and modern energy for all. Nearly 9 out of 10 people around the world now have access to electricity, but there are still over 700 million people in need. Improving access to clean and safe cooking fuels is also a priority, as over 2 billion people continue to be exposed to harmful household air pollution. Developing and supporting renewable energy generation offers huge potential for energy access. India is particularly well placed to become a global leader in renewable batteries and green hydrogen. These and other low carbon technologies like solar could create a market worth up to $80 billion in India by 2030. Our goal is to provide more energy to our clients, especially in emerging countries. For instance, we partnered with Adani, Green Energy Limited, who is the biggest solar developer in the world to develop solar in India. Adani has created one of the world's largest single location solar power plants. The site spans two and a half thousand acres and it's a vital part of India's pledge to have 40% of its energy generated by renewables in 2030. Many African countries suffer from a lack of infrastructure. More than 80% of the continent's rural population, about 600 million, do not have access to electricity. My Hydro is helping developing nations to meet their growing energy needs. They're providing mini hydro infrastructure that could be used in smaller rivers and waterways that other conventional hydropower cannot operate in. Normal mini hydro requires what they call a head to drop, 
it's like a waterfall or a, or a slope. My hydros requires only two meters to 20 meters. So what that means is there are many, many more sites across the African continent that can produce cheap electricity. My Hydro first installations are beginning in Democratic Republic of Congo in early 2023. New technologies are playing a key role in the progress of renewable energy generation, storage and access. In 2022, Total Energies created Total Energies On, an electricity startup accelerator program based at Station F in Paris, the world's largest startup campus. Total Energies On is an acceleration program dedicated to startup in the electricity business. Our goal is to accelerate the energy transition. We are looking for startup working all along the electron life cycle to, at the end, the use of the electron. That's why we are working, for example, with a company like Biv. We're helping everyday people and companies switch to electric cars, but without any of the hassle. And this is what Biv does. Our objective is really to make sure that we help people and show them that the technology we have today is viable. Every time we sell an electric car, we know that we don't have a polluting car that's out there. We are here, in fact, to develop the business. That's our goal. It's a, a way to participate also to the energy transition. We have to find some new solutions coming from startups to develop wind and solar farms quicker and to operate these farms better with startups like Serima. Serima is the concept of uh, using digital technology to, uh, to maximize the, the output of uh, wind energy through AI, through uh, cloud processing, through the IoT technologies that allows us to, to install sensors in the wind turbine. You're able to catch all the needed data to get the utmost from, from wind power. So you can operate wind farms everywhere on, on the planet. If you are a big company, if you are a small company, we have to be together. And it's exactly what we want to do in this place. We want to do clear things today that will help shape the world of tomorrow. For us, uh, Total is a natural partner. The idea for me is that we are learning from each other. The question of the energy transition is a team game question. We want to be together to build the energy of the future. Delivering lower carbon energy access for all is a long-term global endeavor from grassroots projects to worldwide initiatives, the overall aim is to create a democratized energy transition that puts us ever closer to a net zero future. To find out more, visit roadstocarbonneutral.com. The Roads to Carbon Neutral, presented by Total Energies.